This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got two very special guests with me. Thank you very much for coming today, ladies. I know it's a snow day, so school uh, buses are canceled. Do you guys have to go back to school when we're done here? You don't have to go? You don't have to go? You got both. It's a real true snow day then, right? Excellent, excellent. I have got Amelia Ritchie with me, and I have got Nora Allen. Thanks for joining us today. You ladies were in a contest a couple weeks ago, a public speaking contest at St. Francis de Sales Catholic School, and you won, right? And you're moving on. You, you started at the school that day. You've already competed at the Legion. You won that one. And now where are you going to next, Amelia? We're going to the district. And where's that one going to be? The, Canada. The Canada. So that's this weekend. Yeah. That's this weekend. Are you excited about going? Yes. Yes? All right. So I invited you ladies here today to, to tell your speeches because I was there that day and I heard your speeches and you were awesome. And I'm so proud of you ladies. You're representing Smith Falls. You're representing your school. And now you're moving on to, uh, to Canada this weekend too. So what was your topic of your speech? Um, it was about my sister. And why did you pick that as your topic? Because... I know a lot about her, but I don't know a lot of stuff about other stuff about me. Okay, all right, okay. Now we're talking about your sister, Gracie. Is she older than you or younger? She's older. She's older, okay. And Amelia, what did you pick? I picked my speech on how equestrian show jumping was a sport. Okay, now I, inter interestingly enough, when I got a hold of your mom's the other day to uh, see if you wanted to come today, you were at your horseback riding lessons. <laughs> You're very involved in horseback riding. Yes. Okay, okay. So maybe we're going to practice your speech today. Well, not practice. You're going to say it for us, right, today? So maybe, Nora, can we start with you? Would you like to tell everybody your speech? She is a person, she is a girl, and has hands to eat. Yes, she is my sister. Welcome, judges, teachers, and fellow students. Today I will be talking about my sister, Graceland. She loves coming out out of her room for food. She loves going to her friend's house, Macy, and Macy loves coming to our house. She loves drawing. My sister is 11 years old and I can't imagine what life would be without her. My sister loves candy and McDonald's. She always comes home foodless, so she eats and eats and eats. She usually only comes out of her room to look for more food. Sometimes I get angry with her and beg her not to eat all of the food in the house. She loves food so much that when we come back from the grocery store, she instantly eats all of the good stuff right away. I would have to say though that her favorite food of all time is called mochi. She loves to eat it because it is sweet and it is really good. When you eat it, it spreads and melts around in your mouth. Graceland has a best friend who has really become a part of her family. Her name is Macy. Graceland and Macy are really close. Macy loves Grace and Grace loves Macy. I get the fun job of watching them hang out. You know, preteen girls can be so strange when they hang out. They like to wear crop tops and don't even get me started on their pants. Macy has brown eyes and brown hair and she loves dogs. Macy comes over to our house a lot. I sometimes wonder if she wants to live with us. When my friends come over, we like to play games. I'm not sure what preteen girls like to do together. All I know is that they go for walks and sometimes and just as they say, hang out. One thing that I admire so much about my sister, Graceland, is her love for arts. Graceland likes to sing and to be honest, I like to listen to her. When she is singing in her room, I stop what I am doing to go and listen. She likes to sing her little heart out. She is very good at it, but most of all, Graceland is really good at drawing. In fact, I think she will become an artist when she grows up. She can draw anything like no other. Her dream is to someday be an artist or singer. I think her dreams will come true. Everyone has someone they look up to in their lives. I guess when I really think about it, I look up to my big sister, Graceland. Her love for food makes me giggle, even if there's no snacks left for me. While sometimes I think Graceland would rather have her friend Macy for a sister. I know deep in her heart she's also happy to have me. She inspires her singing and drawing make me so happy, and she inspires me to be free-spirited. 
and follow my dreams. I hope you all enjoyed learning a little about my big sister. I'll leave you now with a question. Who in your life do you admire? Wow, that was beautiful. Just beautiful. Now, can I ask, did Gracelyn hear that the first time when you did your speech, or did you practice in front of her first? I practiced in front of her first. Okay, so she knew you were going to do a speech on her. And what did she think about that? Um, she thought it was awesome. I bet you she did. That, that's a beautiful speech to talk about your sister. Oh, she must be, be very proud of you. You say she, you, she inspires you, but she must be very proud of you. Thank you. Oh, okay, now Amelia, let's talk a little about your speech. You picked equestrian is a sport. All right, and you do horseback riding as well? Can yes. you tell us about that? What kind of equestrian? Do you um, so I do show jumping, which is when horses and riders jump over obstacles. Oh, and where do you do that? Tay Valley Farm. Okay, okay. So I'm going to let the, you have the floor, you've got your speech. I'm going to introduce Amelia Ritchie and her speech. Do you think you control a thousand pound animal with just a piece of metal and two leather straps while flying over obstacles over five feet high? It might look easy, but equestrian show jumping is a very dangerous and difficult sport. Honorable judges, teachers, parents, and fellow students, today I'm here to explain to you why equestrian show jumping is a respected sport that requires skill, endurance, and most of all, bravery. A sport is defined as an activity involving physical exertion and skill in which an individual or team competes against each other for entertainment. Show jumping embodies all of these things. Let's start with being a team. In this sport, you and the horse have to be a well-oiled machine. You have to trust each other, get to know each other, and spend lots of time together as you practice and when you compete. You get to know each other's fears, quirks, and personalities. Pony Eye Show is named Mia. She can be a cheeky pony at times, and I always know from the minute I get her out of her stall, she is going to cooperate that day or not. That is a developed bond made over countless hours spent together. Next up is how a sport involves physical exertion. This sport is physically exhausting. It might look like someone is just sitting on the top of a horse, but it does all the work. But in actuality, the rider's having to use their legs to balance the horse and tell it how fast or slow it needs to go. Their hand must be soft as to not pull on the horse's mouth, but able to give it cues as where it needs to go. You're pulling all your weight down into your heels, keeping your core tight, hands up, sitting nice and tall, and ensuring your hands are held high enough to maintain all that control I spoke of earlier. It's a lot in your body, and you find yourself very hot and tired quicker than you'd imagine. Sure, all sports come with an element of risk, but riding is especially dangerous, as you could be thrown on the saddle, trampled, kicked, bit, or, well, I think you get the picture. Riders do everything to they can to stay safe, wearing helmets, heeled boots, and inflated vests. But you're never 100% safe, and that is a risk you take for the love of the sport. Lastly, a sport should be entertaining. Well, I don't think anyone could deny that watching horses and riders jump over 16 obstacles or 5 feet high and 6 feet wide as fast as they can without knocking them, any of them down isn't fun. Sure, it's stressful to make sure the horse doesn't knock one of the rails, toss the rider, or just simply spook at the jump. I fell in love with riding over four years ago. I love the thrill of learning a new sport, the excitement of watching the jumps get higher the harder I work, or, simp or mostly the time it gets spent with horses. If you were on the fence of believing that equestrian show jumping was a sport, I hope I changed your mind. I mean mine. Thank you. <laughs> very good, very good. You, you ladies are awesome. Can I ask you both a question? You go to school with people and not everybody got up and did public speaking. A yeah. lot of people were nervous. What would you say to somebody who's a little nervous but wants to try? I would say um, it's sure scary to go up and say a speech, but it feels really good when you do it. And you just have to remember a lot of other people can't do this and are really nervous. So that's really something that takes a lot of courage. It does. It really does. What would you say to somebody who's a little nervous but... What would you say to them? Um, I would say follow your passions and dreams. Um, and it does take a lot of courage to get up on the stage and stuff. 
It really does. You know, you guys had the courage to get up in front of your school, then you went to the Smith Falls Legion, and now you're going out of town. You're going to Canada. So you're going to the city next. So how are you feeling about going? Pretty good. You're pretty excited? Yeah. You guys are um, going to do amazing. I'm kind of nervous. Yeah? Yeah? You're going to do well, though. You're going to look out in the audience. You're going to see your parents there. And I'm sure you probably see some other people there, too. So you guys are going to do amazing. Now, I just I brought this. Amelia, have you seen this deck of cards before? I have. You have, eh? <laughs> <laughs> This deck of cards was made in the year 2000 of people very well known in the Smith Falls area. Can you hand that over to Amelia for me, please? Can you tell everybody who that is? It's my mom. It's your mom. She is the four of... Spades. Sp is it spades? Or clubs. Or clubs. Four of clubs, yes. Yeah, I think And what clubs. is she doing? She is with her horse, April. That's right. That's right. I believe I took that picture too, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> so yes, your mom was one of the people on one of the uh, deck of cards that we made in the year 2000. So uh, that's pretty cool. You've uh, picked up the, the same thing your mom likes to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's a family thing. All right. It's a family thank thing. Well, thank you very much, ladies, for coming here today. And uh, good luck on Saturday. You guys are going to do awesome. You're representing your school. You're representing our town. You're just representing all the people you go to school with, too. I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. Thank Congratulations you. and good luck. Thank you. Thank you.